Now, waste pollution is becoming a reality in Lagos, Nigeria, and the need to tackle this menace is essential. It is against this backdrop that statewide, uh, statewide waste and environmental education projects sweep in collaboration with Lagos State Government and LOMA held a high-level citizens forum on waste reduction and management. Our correspondent, Mercy Emmanuel, was there and now reports. Waste management is said to be one of the pressing environmental challenges in Lagos. With its vast population that now exceeds 21 million, Lagos State generates about 10,000 metric tons of waste daily, which makes an average of 3.65 million tons per year, more than any other state in Nigeria. Despite a host of policies and regulations, solid waste management in the state is assuming alarming proportion with each passing day. To clear our waste, to achieve zero waste, and also encourage recycling, it's a collective effort, like the Lagos State slogan that ends with Ajumoshe. We need to teach other people to do it. We had the environmental officers, the Wole Wole's in those days, and they were very, very effective and functional. They were even like more functional and effective than the policemen. When you hear Baba Wole Wole is coming into your house and he sees any tangwiji or kokoro inside your house, you are gone as for life. And that was what was happening. Not in a fighting approach or a blame blame approach, but in a way that they can accept it. There are many ways that we've been taught how to get our people to accept that cleanliness is priority, is paramount. Cleanliness is close to a healthy nation. A lot of these sicknesses that we are seeing at the moment starts with poor hygiene, filthy environments, Lassa fever. Honestly, we don't have any business having Lassa fever in this century. As the advocacy for proper waste management spring on, citizens are advised to take advantage of the waste to wealth system. When I see those pictures of plastics in the drains and waste piled on the highway, I see Naira notes and dollar notes lying in the drainage and lying on the roadside. We need to put the energy into tidying up, recycling and all, and make money from waste. There's a lot in waste to energy, waste to wealth that we can do. As a matter of fact, the uh, National Union of uh, Road Transport Workers is partnering with us to ensure that every one of their buses has waste bins. And we also plan to put waste bins at the bus stops, which will be uh, cleaned and emptied regularly by our sweepers. Many of you know that we have street sweepers throughout Lagos now, over 10,000 of them, whose job is to keep the uh, streets clean every day. So we want you to support them by not littering. Just because you see them cleaning doesn't mean that you should add to what they're sweeping. We have uh, waste policing units throughout the city. And uh, if you are caught, you're likely you will be taken to courts. We have mobile courts and uh, sentenced to community service. If we get every other person to become as exposed environmentally, as enlightened environmentally, you will find lesser amount of field in our public space. Now beyond that, if we get education environmentally, you will find out that uh, the number of recyclable waste that go into the environment Will be reduced. In order to live in a clean and healthy environment, there is an urgent need to shun irresponsible and indiscriminate waste disposal. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Messi Emmanuel.